Hi friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn preprocessor in C. So first we know what is a preprocessor. A preprocessor is a program that processes the source code before it passes to the compiler. The preprocessor offers several features called preprocessor directive. We can classify them as macro expansion or hash define, file inclusion or hash include, conditional compilation and miscellaneous directives. Here we learn has defined preprocessor directives. Let's see the syntax of has defined preprocessor directives. Each of the preprocessor directives begin with a hash symbol. So right here a hash and here we are dealing with the has defined preprocessor directives. So we need to write here the keyword define then give a space and then write the macro name. Note that the macro name and has defined preprocessor separated by a space, but the space between the has and define is optional. If you want, you can add it or you can drop it. After the macro name, we have to write the replacement text. This macro name is a identifier which we use in our program and replacement text is the values or characters that will be replaced wherever it get macro name or identifier. Remember that a macro definition is never to be terminated by a semicolon and you can give any number of spaces between macro name and replacement text. Next we see how we use the hash defined directives in our program. Our first task is to define a macro name or identifier using hash defined directives. Then assign some values to this identifier and next we see how we use this identifier in our program. So let's begin. Here I am gonna write hash defined. Then we have to write the macro name or identifier. Let's say it number. Then we need to assign some values to this identifier, suppose 10. One thing I want to say, here we are writing the macro name in capital letters. It is not mandatory, but if we use capital letters, this makes easy for programmers to find out all the macro names when reading the program. So just to read program easily, we use here capital letters. Now we use the number identifier in our program. Here I am gonna create an integer type variable int i. Next we use a for loop for i equal to 1, i less equal to number, then i plus plus. Inside this loop we print the value of i. So I am gonna write here printf percent d new line and here we refer i. Now see the for loop here we use the number identifier. When we compile our source code before compilation process our preprocessor program is run. First we search for the macro definition and here it find a macro definition. Then it find the macro name in our program and here it find. Then it replace the macro name with the replacement text. That means it plays here 10. After preprocessor finishes its execution, the loop will be as for i equal to 1, i less equal to 10, and then i plus plus. Let's check the output, compile it and run it. As you can see here, it prints the number from 1 to 10. Because number identifier is replaced by 10, and the condition is i less equal to 10 and the for loop execute 10 times that's why it print the number from 1 to 10. The next thing that I wanna tell you once a macro name is defined we can use it as a part of definition of another macro name. Let's see how to do it. I am gonna write here has defined and now give here another macro name suppose max and here I am gonna write number plus 5 and here I am gonna write max 
Let's check the output, compile it and run it. As you can see here, it print the number from 1 to 15. Because here we write the condition i less equal to max and then max is replaced by number plus 5. Here number is 10, so 10 plus 5 equal to 15. So the condition is i less equal to 15. That's why it print the number from 1 to 15. Similarly, we can use string value also. I am going to write here has define give him acronym suppose name and then write here the replacement text. I am going to write here India and here I am going to write another printf statement printf and here I am going to write the macronym that is name. Now check the output, compile it and run it. As you can see here, it print India. Because our preprocessor replaced the name identifier with India. So we have already known what is has defined preprocessor directives and how to use it in our program. But a question obviously comes to your mind, why we use it? or what is the advantage of using it. The advantage of has defined preprocessor directive is that a variable could also have provided a meaningful name for a constant and permitted one change to affect many occurrence of that constant. Suppose you are writing a program for 200 or 300 lines and you using a constant 10 many times in your program. Now you want to change the value. So what you do? you need to go through the program and manually change each occurrence of the constant. But if you use has defined directives, you need only to make one change in the has defined directive itself and the change will be made automatically all the occurrences of the constant in the program. That's it. This was about the has defined preprocessor directive in C. Next tutorial we will learn some more features of has defined preprocessor directive. Thank you for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel Slide Hunt.